Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today we are doing a full day in the life of what my beauty, skin, and self-care goes while I'm here at home. So a lot of us are at home right now. We're at our stay at home orders. Um, and I've been getting a lot of questions about the things that I'm implementing in my life to make my beauty, skin, and self-care a little more efficient and a lot more easier for me. So I'm, I really gravitate towards being all natural, so I don't wear any makeup, I don't apply any heat um, to my hair, and these are some of the things that I have implemented in my life. Now, if you're not familiar with my journey, um, one of the things that I really struggled with in the beginning of my debt payoff journey was self-confidence issues, um, and those self-confidence issues and comparing myself to others really led me down the road towards credit card debt. I was out spending money I didn't have to keep up with the Joneses, um, and I wanted what they had. I wanted what she had. I wanted to look like she looked. And so it really caused me to basically fall down this black hole of credit card debt. That said, it took many years to be comfortable in my own skin, but not only that, love myself. And not just love myself, but love my natural self and everything that I truly was without all the add-ons, without the makeup, without getting my hair done, without going tanning, without getting my nails done. And so these are things that I essentially took out of my life. I wanted to give myself a chance to really be comfortable in my own skin and embrace my natural self. And that's what really helped me learn to love myself um, and to find my strength and my confidence again. Uh, so right now we have the perfect opportunity. Now, I know a lot of people out there say that, you know, you're going to be a lot more productive. You're going to be a lot more efficient. So if you get up and you do your normal routine, just like you would in your everyday life of going to work, you know, getting up and getting your makeup done, getting your hair done, making your bed. And though I do agree with that to some extent, I don't necessarily believe that getting up and getting ready necessarily means that we have to do everything that we did when we were going to work and, and really leading and, and being in our everyday lives. This is our chance to embrace comfortable. This is our chance to let our skin breathe, to let our hair breathe, and really just be comfortable in our own skin and our natural elements. So that's why today I am doing my video. I want to show you some of the things that I've implemented in my life to embrace those things. So first thing I do, it's seven, it's seven o'clock in the morning right now. I usually get up a lot earlier, but I had to do some small projects this morning. But usually I get up, I go into my bathroom, and I wash my face, I brush my teeth. So let me show you what getting ready looks like for me. that I use is this um, honey, let me see if I can get this clear, there you go, is this uh, honey face wash, honey and milk face wash. It's amazing, it's coconut milk and honey, I get it on Amazon, there'll be a link to this description in the description of this video for this product. I absolutely love it, it's super affordable, it's all natural, and it works. washing my face, the next thing that I do is I apply my skincare products. So I use a different, couple of different skincare products. I use the Aveeno Clear Complexion Lotion, looks like this, and I use this only on my forehead. And the next product that I use is this Simple Lotion. 
and I use that on the rest of my face. Now the reason I use the clear complexion on my forehead is because that's where I'm most prone to breakouts and having a little bit of that breakout fighter in that lotion helps with my breakouts on my forehead. All right, so those are my two products. That is my entire skincare routine. I wash my face with my face wash, I apply my two different lotions, and that's as it as far as what I do with my face in the morning. Next, I brush my teeth. I use the Sonicare. So one of the things I like to do is just wipe down the counter when I'm done. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about a couple of the different things. So the next thing that I do is I brush out my hair. So I take my showers at night and so it is still a little bit damp. At night, I sleep with my hair in one of these little clips. Um, so I also use and really believe in using combs rather than brushes. I feel like they're healthier for your hair. So the next thing I do in the morning is I just brush out my hair very quickly. So because I don't apply any heat to my hair, if I want any type of definition or wave or curl, I just throw it back into my clip. So my hair is brushed and my hair is getting really long, so it's getting a little harder to manage. Essentially though, I throw it up. Now you can throw it up in a nice bun. I don't like using ponytails because I feel like it pulls out your hair. So I just twist it. And when you twist it like this and throw it up in your clip, if you let your hair dry that way, you get this really nice wavy effect. And that's it. That's how I do my hair in the morning. And like I said, if I want it to look a little bit nicer, I just let it down and it has this really nice wavy effect for it being up in my clip like this. So now it's time to make my bed. Okay, so there is one thing that I do believe in doing every single day, and that is making your bed. So for me, I, I love my space when things are, they look nice, everything's done. And for me, part of that morning routine is making my bed. So I'm gonna do that now. So when I decide what to wear in the, in the morning um, after brushing my teeth and, and doing my skin and hair routine, the number one thing I focus on, especially if I'm just trotting around at home, is comfort. So this is our time where we don't have to wear the uncomfortable jeans. We don't have to fit into those slacks. We don't have to wear a dress. Now, am I saying to trot around in sweatpants and a sweatshirt all day? No. You can if you want to, but for me, I like to get dressed in I like to call them everyday comfortable, comfy clothes. So that's either a really nice pair of joggers or a nice pair of leggings and a comfy, you know, I like to wear oversized t-shirts or a flannel. So let me go ahead and pick out what I'm gonna wear today. All right, so I like to wear black leggings usually and a comfortable shirt. So. My comfy shirts are right here. I think I'm going to wear 
See, I like to wear these shirts that are kind of oversized. And this one's really, really soft. It's kind of got like this velvet feel going on, but I'll wear this one today. All right, so now that I'm dressed for the day, I like to head down to my kitchen and make some coffee. All right, so now down here in my kitchen, there is one thing that, that I wanna kind of talk about, about as far as my daily routine. So at night after I make dinner, one of the one things that I focus on is cleaning my kitchen. So that includes putting away all the, all the food from dinner. That means doing all of the dishes. That means wiping off all the counters. That means I disinfect my kitchen once a day. So I disinfect all of the different uh, cupboard knobs, all the countertops, all of the um, faucets, the stove, everything. And that is what I do every single day. So when I come down in the morning to get a cup of coffee, the last thing I wanna do is walk into a dirty kitchen or a dirty space in general. But my kitchen is really my safe haven, especially being stuck at home. Um, it's where I pretty much spend most of my day. So whether I'm baking cookies or I'm baking a new cake or I'm making breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I spend a lot of time in my kitchen. So it's really important for me that part of my daily routine is keeping up on the cleaning maintenance, maintenance in my kitchen. So I wanted to mention that briefly. So let me take you over to my coffee station. All right, so this is my little coffee station and tea station. I'm a huge, huge tea drinker and coffee drinker. Um, I only usually do about one cup every day of coffee, um, but so what I usually do is I just get my coffee going. So I have the Mocha Master and I love it. I like the simplicity of it. It's literally one button. You can do, um, a half thing of coffee or a full thing of coffee. I just like how simple it is. All right, while the coffee's brewing, I take Mr. Toby out. Hi, Tobes. Mr. Toby out to go potty. Come on, let's go potty. So go potty. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. Now for my coffee, I'm the type of person that likes a lot of half and half in my coffee. So I just use the half and half. I'm talking about a lot of half and half. And then I'm the type of person I like a lot of sugar. I get a lot of questions on how I take my coffee. Half and half in sugar. And the next thing I focus on is my meal plan. Now for the longest time, I hated cooking. At least I thought I hated cooking. Um, but I really learned to embrace, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, my first cake that I ever made and it was just level of just, I was so proud of myself. I know that's weird even though it was just a cake, but I really learned and embrace cooking and baking in my life and it, I feel just tremendously blessed that during this time at home I've been able to practice and make amazing recipes for my family. Nothing makes me feel prouder than being able to provide yummy meals for my family, especially when Christopher gets home from work, having a really good dinner ready for him just because he's a UPS driver and he's out there right now working really long hours. Um, so it makes me feel really happy to do that for them. So after I'm done making my coffee, um, the next thing I would do is I would work on work for a little while in my office and then I would start my meal plan. So right now I am working on my meal plan. This week I am doing crock pot recipes and I know a lot of people don't see cooking or baking as self care, but for me it's a stress reliever. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I want to get better at. It's a skill that I want to bring into my life. So for me, it is a little bit about self care. So I'm gonna show you very quickly. I'm not gonna show you the entire recipe, um, but I will show you how I get started and what that looks like for me. So like I said, I'm doing crock pot recipes. 
and I just get out my crock pot and I start making my recipes now. Right now, I am using, and I always have my recipes here on my recipe stand if I'm using a cookbook. I am using the William Sonoma Everyday Slow Cooking recipe book, and you can see I have everything tabbed for my meal plans. Um, but today we are making the pulled pork sliders. And um, you can see that me probably making this recipe over on my Instagram, I'll probably be shooting some of that there. But um, so I just go ahead and I spend the next about half hour meal prepping and getting things into the crock pot for my meal plan. Alrighty, so now that I have my crock pot meal done, dinner is done. That's the great thing that I love about slow cooker meals is I do them in the morning usually and then I have dinner done and I don't have to worry about it the rest of the day. So now let's talk about my nails. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna tackle is my nails. I get a ton of nail uh, questions about my nails. So I used to get my nails done every two weeks. It was about $50 every time I went. I would spend it on my credit card even though I didn't have the money. And I decided when I was on my debt payoff journey, I nicked that in the bud and I started doing my nails at home. That was back in 2014 and it's become one of my favorite hobbies. Now what I'm showing you is my nail cabinet. <laughs> So I got this nail cabinet Hobby Lobby. Now all of these different um, drawers aren't filled up, but a lot of them are. So I have all my gel polishes and then all my regular polishes. So I have a couple of different fa favorite nail polishes that we're gonna be talking about. So very quickly. What you're seeing on my nails, try to get a good clear view. What you're seeing on my nails right now is um, tips, nail tips, and acrylic and gel. So I have three different kits that I use and three different methods that I use to do my nails depending on which one I wanna do. So let's talk about that very quickly. So down here is all my different nail utensils. Now keep in mind, to do your nails at home, you do not need to go out and spend a bunch, a bunch of money to get all this stuff. This stuff was um, compiled over many, many, many different years. So since 2014, 15, 13, all the way up um, until now. So I've accumulated quite the stash of nail stuff. But very quickly, I use, I have an acrylic, set that looks like this. Well, it's upside down in the, in the bag, but I just bought this simple kit. It comes with your nails, your brush, um, the bonding uh, liquid, nail glue, the whole shebang. And then what I use, so that's the acrylic kit. You can find them on Amazon. Okay, I use the Kara Sky Dipping Kit. Now this is by far my most expensive kit. Dip kits are a little more expensive. You can get this for one for around $95, but go two trips to the salon and you already paid for the kit to do them on at home for many, many, many years. So I've owned this kit for almost a year and a half now and I'm still using the same kit. And then I do gel. Now with my gel, I use this UV light for my gel nails. And I'll put a link in the uh, description of the video for all these different things, but. So I use acrylic, dip, and gel, depending on how fast I wanna do my nails or what kind of look I wanna get. Because my nails are so thin, I usually like to have tips on at any given point and I use the tips with the dip, with gel, and with acrylic. So you can use tips for all three. 
One of the things that I absolutely do recommend is your own electronic nail file. So I have this, it makes doing your nails so much faster. So if you have gel, and I'll be showing you this process soon, like I have gel on my nails right now, instead of soaking these off, which could take 20 to 30 minutes to get the gel completely soaked off, and this goes the same with dip powder, I file the polish off instead. So I'm not using any type of harsh chemicals on my nails. It's really easy just to file them off. You can get this on Amazon for about 25 bucks. So today I'm gonna to be working on my nails. And what I'm gonna be doing is, um, because I would usually do an acrylic fill, but I am completely out of my liquid monomer. So this is the stuff for um, the gel, or, or excuse me, for the, um, that you would use for the acrylic. So what I'm gonna do is I am literally just going to use my electronic nail file, take off this old polish, um, smooth out my nails, and just do a gel polish on top. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so you're gonna wanna lay down a towel, and I have my electronic file here. Now my file has and comes with a bunch of different tips that looks like this. I'm just going to use one of these buffer pads to um, buff out and take off my gel polish. Okay, so as you can see, I got that entire nail um, gel off and what I've done is I just really made sure to file more towards the base of that acrylic tip and the or the acrylic layer that way when I put on my new gel polish there isn't like a bump between my real nail and the acrylic just because I don't have my um, acrylic liquid with me I'm literally just going to put a gel, a new gel polish over this. Okay, so all of the polish has been taken off from my nails. Let's get a close up here. So these are the tips and on top of the tips is acrylic. And I'm actually not doing a fill just because I ran out of the liquid monomer for my acrylic, but I just used my electronic nail file and filed down towards the bottom of the acrylic. That way there's a nice transition between my um, real nail and the acrylic. So I'm just gonna do a nice gel coat over that. When I'm done using my electronic nail file, I file my refile my nails. Now, this is also the time I determine how short I want my nails to be. Sometimes I'll use my electronic nail file and just shorten them this way. So now I have a new, short, nice, nail. Now I do use some other tips in my electronic nail file. I use this kind of skinny looking one. Just replace the attachment and then I go underneath underneath my nail and get all the crap underneath my nail like my real nail that's growing. Kind of like what they do in the salon. And there you go, that's how I do, and that's what I do for each one of these. So I'm just gonna replace the attachment, shorten my nails.
hand is done. And the next step I take is I just buffer out my nail. Give them a quick feel, make sure there's no noticeable bumps. Wash your hands and then it's time to polish them. Okay, so this is why having a towel out is very helpful. You can just fold it up and throw it in the laundry. Um, so now you're working with the clean surface. The next thing, whoops, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing my gel nails. Now the gel colors that I'm using today are from this kit um, here. Um, I just bought a pack. It's just a kit from Amazon that I bought a couple months ago and it has all these different colors in it. And I think today I'm going to be going, and I haven't even picked the color I want to do today. I think today I'll do this reddish color. I really like this red color. Get it out of the tray here. Yeah, I think I like that color. Let's see. Bring it up here. Well, it looks like this. Be doing that color today. So let's start. Now I do use a base and top coat for my gel nails. I'm using, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, Gelin. Sorry about the glare there. But this is the ones, and I have a top coat as well. So I'm just gonna put on my base coat very quickly. Get it. Here we go. Okay, so first hand done. And this is the light that I'm using. And it has an automatic timer, so that's really helpful. And I just wait till it beeps and then I put on I put on two coats of my gel polish followed by my top coat. Okay, so I just got done doing my nails. So these are the finished product. That's what they essentially look like. I just need to put on some cuticle oil. But very quickly, if you don't have the dip gel or acrylic kit, um, I have a couple of different suggestions for you. Uh, so let me show you. For regular nail polish, I have a couple of different favorites that I've tried and tested throughout the years that do the best with chipping and long lasting nail wear. So my first favorite is this brand. Let me see if I can get it without the glare. Okay. Okay, the first one is this Color Stay Gel Envy by Revlon. It's awesome because even though it looks like a gel polish, it isn't. It just, when it's applied to your nails, it looks like a gel polish. So that's my first one, and it's a great option if you just wanna do regular nail polish. My other favorite, let me find it here. Here's my other favorite brand. My other favorite brand is called Miracle Gel by Sally Hansen. Looks like this. It's also one of those ones that when applied looks like gel but is a regular nail polish. You do not need a gel lamp or heat lamp or, or UV lamp to set this polish. So um, I, as you can see, I keep all of mine together. Um, so when I'm doing a regular gel polish, and there are some days that I do like just wearing a regular polish, I'll use either the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel or the Gel MV by Revlon. For your top coat, I use the Sally Hansen Dries Instantly Top Coat. I have found that this top coat is by far the best. It gives the best gloss and it also does wonderful for no chipping. Um, so if I use the 
Miracle Gel Nail Polish, regular nail polish with the Sally Hansen Dries Instantly Top Coat. I can usually get this to last about a week, a week and a half with no chipping. So I apply two coats of the color and then one coat of the top coat and it works wonderful. So if you don't wanna go out and spend the money on the kits, these are a couple of different options as far as, um, and if these aren't that expensive. Like you can pick up a bottle of this. I see it on clearance all the time at like um, grocery stores like Albertsons. Um, you can find it in the clearance bin a lot of the time for like $2.99, $3.99, regular price for the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, you're, it's about $5.99 a bottle, but you get a lot and they last a long time. So, got my nails done. Another thing to note, um, if you are at home and you can't get to a nail salon, please do not peel off whatever nails you have on, whether it be dip or acrylic or gel, because when you peel off that nail, what could happen is you could essentially be peeling off layers of your real nail, and then all of a sudden your nails are going to get very thin. So what I use to soak off, if you don't have an electronic nail file like that down there, um, I recommend using 100% pure acetone. You can just soak off your nails. So get a bowl, put some of this in a bowl, and then soak your nails off. Um, dip powder usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes and so does gel, I have found. So um, that's what I recommend for removing your nails, especially if you can't get to a nail salon and your nails are getting quite the growth like mine are. So um, this is the one that I like to use and I have many different bottles just because if I don't use my electronic nail file, I'll soak my nails off. So another great thing about self-care at home is now, I'm really blessed and fortunate. My boyfriend is actually and was a physical trainer as well as a physique competitor. So we have a lot of the gym equipment here at home already. Um, but staying active um, while being safe at home is really, really important. Whether that means going for a run outside, maybe it's going outside and playing with the kids, a game of tag or a game of football or baseball. Um, for me, what I found that was really helpful, especially with being safe at home, is finding body weight exercises to do at home. So whether that's push-ups, crunches, wall sits, squats, lunges, things where you don't need any additional equipment to do, um, just things to find and, and really be active while at home. My favorite thing, as you guys know, I'm a long distance runner, so that's running on the treadmill, treadmill for me or running outside lately. I've been trying to do more running at home, I just haven't had a lot of time, or using the rower machine here in the gym. Now we made a makeshift gym here in my apartment after the gyms closed down. Um, and like I said, luckily we were blessed and fortunate to have a lot of this equipment already on hand just because my boyfriend was in the physical training space. Um, but being active at home is, and is, is really important for your mindset um, as well as your overall health. Now, I am not a huge book reader. In fact, I don't like reading books, but I do love magazines, and here is the reason. So my attention span for books is not that great. I'm the type of person that gets through one page and then falls asleep. Um, so I've been focusing on getting through and enjoying a lot of my magazines. I love magazines for the pure fact that the articles are short. And they also, now I tend to gravitate towards recipe magazines. I don't know, um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm on a baking and cooking journey. It's bringing a lot of happiness and joy into my life. So I love getting in touch and reading with, in the magazines just because the articles are a lot simpler. So finding time to incorporate the things that bring you happiness is really, really important. Even if you're blocking out just 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day, like, picking up a magazine that you've been wanting to get to, reading a book. Um, so for me, my big thing is getting through all of my magazines and, and reading all the articles that I wanted to get to. All right, so let's talk hair color for a second because <clears throat> I know I mentioned in my bathroom we would talk about it. So what I do and how I'm able to get away with only doing, and I'm holding the camera only to show you up close my hair, um, how I get away with only doing my hair once a year is I do a highlight technique when I get my hair done called balayage. 
and what that is and instead of foiling your highlights which causes a pretty big noticeable line straight line when your hair grows balayage is a freehand technique that they use to highlight your hair so when I'm highlighting my hair I still like to embrace my natural hair color which you can see up here at the top and then as well as the bottom and beneath my hair which is like this color so when I get my highlights which you can see at the top here I only do the top I don't do the bottom of my hair like underneath my hair um, and I don't and we do the balayage technique up top so doing it that way when your hair grows out it grows out into like an ombre effect more than just a straight across line so see if I can get a good close-up you can see it's not a straight across line it's more of a feathered look and I just let my hair grow throughout the year I usually like to go towards the beginning of summer because when I do get my highlights my hair is quite a bit lighter and so that looks the best in the summer to me so that's how I get away with only doing my hair once a year and it's worked out great and I've been doing that I started doing that a couple about three years ago to save money at the salon instead of going every three to four months to get highlights on my grow out I started doing that technique so I could go longer I could last longer in between my salon visits so that's a little tip um, and it's worked out great because now that we're at home and I can't get into the salon it doesn't really affect me that much because of the way that my hair is growing out so maybe after all of this is said and done. Um, the next time you can get your hair, you, uh, hair done, you can ask your hairdresser um, to do the balayage technique on your, on your hair. So those are just some of the self-care things that I'm practicing while safe at home, as well as some of the best tips and tricks for my beauty and skincare routine. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.